Harry! Harry! Believe this, Harry. Hermione wants you to meet her in the girls' bathroom on the second floor. She says she's got a plan to find out who the heir of Slytherin is. Really? Yes. Now hurry up. Girls' bathroom, second floor. Isn't that supposed to be haunted? Come on then, Harry. You need to get to the second floor. Harry, Hermione's waiting for you. In the girls' bathroom now. Hurry up. Come on then, Harry. You need to get to the second floor. Hermione? This is a girl's bathroom. He's not a girl. No, sorry Myrtle. I just wanted to show him how uh, nice it is in here. I wish people would stop interrupting my peace and quiet. I do have feelings, you know, even if I am dead. So what's this plan of yours, Hermione? We need to find out who the heir of Slytherin is, so we can discover who wants all the students with non-magical parents out of Hogwarts. Well, it's not me, I hope. Do you think it could be Draco? Well, if it is, how do we prove it? One of us needs to get Malfoy to answer a few questions without him realising it's us. That's what I was thinking, which is why I've been making a Polyjuice Potion. What's Polyjuice Potion? It transforms you into somebody else. One of us could change into a Slytherin, and Malfoy would probably tell us anything we wanted to know. I managed to sneak a bit of Goyle's hair during Transfiguration class and mix it into this. One sip, Harry, and you'll look just like Goyle. and find Malfoy. We're running out of time. Go on, Harry. Get going and see if you can find Malfoy. Hurry up and find Malfoy, Harry. The Polyjuice Potion will wear off soon. Rependo! Oh, oh. 
Shouldn't be out at night. Five points from Slytherin. Hey, you! Oh. Locomotor Martis! You shouldn't be out at night. Five points from Slytherin. You shouldn't be out at night. Five points from Slytherin. Hey, you! You shouldn't be out at night. Five points from Slytherin. Hey, you! Go back to the dungeons. Did you know that Draco's looking for you? Ah, Goyle. Did you know that Draco's looking for you? If that Potter can speak to snakes, that might mean he's the heir. I shudder to think. Ah, Goyle, did you know that Draco's looking for you? My father says that only pure bloods like us should be at Hogwarts. Don't you agree? Draco's down here. He's been looking for you. the Daily Prophet hasn't reported what's going on here. I suppose Dumbledore's trying to hush it all up. He'll be sacked if it doesn't stop soon. Father's always said old Dumbledore's the worst thing that ever happened to Hogwarts. He loves that non-magical lot. A decent headmaster would never have let that jumped up Granger mudblood in. And as for Saint Potter, the mudblood's friend, he's another one with no proper wizard feeling. And people think he's the Slytherin heir. I wish I knew who it is. I could help them. Oh, you must have some idea who's behind it all. You know I haven't, Goyle. How many times do I have to tell you? But I know one thing. Last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood girl died. So I bet it's only a matter of time before one of them's killed this time. I hope it's Granger. Anyway, uh, Draco, I'd best be going. Going where? Uh, to the hospital wing. Yes, that's it, the hospital wing. I've got a stomachache. And I need to get something for it. Get 
going, Goyle, before your fat belly explodes. I'd better get out of here, and fast. isn't him. Malfoy's not the heir of Slytherin. Oh, but he must be. Who else could it be? I don't know, but it's got to be someone who was here at Hogwarts 50 years ago, when the chamber was last opened. Well done, Harry. You did a great job. See you in the morning. Night, Harry. 